Hey guys, welcome to Season 12, Episode 22 of Criminal Minds. This is the season finale of Season 12 of Criminal Minds. I'm so excited for this. Their last interaction was such a good scene. Was such a good, like, interaction back and forth the entire episode. I feel like we're getting another one here. Here we go. Spencey. Where's my mother? I missed you. What did you and Lindsay do to her? How did you- Now, stop. You don't get to walk in here and hiss at me like I'm the criminal. No. We do this my way. How's prison? Did you like it? No. <laughs> it's not fun, is it? Unlike you, I didn't deserve to be there. A brain like yours needs stimulation in such a gray place. I worked in the laundry room and I played chess. That's three, maybe four hours tops. What about the other 20? I read. That's still not enough. You have to go someplace up here. Close your eyes. Good, now keep them shut. Sit back and relax. Now when you open your eyes, I want you to look at me like I'm the first woman you've seen after being in prison for three months. Now, open. Hello, cat. <laughs> <laughs> You're here! I almost believe you don't want to kill me. I don't want to kill you. No? Oh. What if I let your mother die? Then would you kill me? Do me a favor and tell Blondie over there to step aside. Because we're going to play another game. And this time... We're going to find out exactly what kind of man you are. Oh, this is already so good. They had to do a round two. The last one was just pure greatness. <laughs> You can ask me as many questions as you like to figure it out, but you only get one guess as to what it is. Now, guess correctly, I take your phone, I call our friend Lindsay, and I tell her to release your mother unharmed. If you don't... Damn. <laughs> is there a clock? There's always a clock. Give it to me. You want to give me a hint before we start? Do I look like a girl that gives hints? Actually, you do. <laughs> okay, how about this? It's a secret you'll never admit to. Oh. You're a drug addict? Go. Up till now, Cat Adams has only worked solo. But this is a partnership. They and look similar. Figure out how these two hit women were able to work together, especially when one of them was in solitary. They don't take a job unless they know all the angles. So to predict their behavior, we need to ask ourselves a simple question. Is it possible they we worked know together what before? To prevent or read. What is Lindsay? Ten years ago, we tried to talk Lindsay's father out of one last murder. Okay, but he Come didn't. Last year, she finds out her BFF cat has been arrested by the same federal agent who tried to stop her daddy. It's kind of hard to buy that Lindsay would commit to doing all of this just because Reed kind of sort of got in her way ten years ago. Yeah, what the hell? Oh, oh get her out of the freaking trunk. We're missing something. Ugh. Damn. Lindsay's APB didn't turn anything up. Neither did Diana's photo on the National Center for Missing Adults database. Okay, I want a full breakdown on Lindsay's life. Aliases, contacts, hits. Uh, Wait, that was weird. Where she gets her hollow point rounds. Yeah, well, Why didn't she just say that out loud? I want a list of everyone who was in Kat's prison in the past year. No, I asked if any Amber Alerts had been issued tonight. No, is that important? Yes, I'm going to put one out. You're gonna put out Diana Reed's face and say she's a missing child. No, I'm gonna put Lindsay's out as an abductor. People pay attention to Amber's, and that's what we need. Okay. They do? 
People pay attention to Amber Alerts, do they? Do they? Like, let's be honest, do they? Which means I'll take responsibility for it. Just pull the screen up, okay? I mean, honestly, I, I feel like people get annoyed with them more than anything. I need you to leave. Right now. Oh my god. I love this kind of rule breaking. I love you. These 26 potential accomplices, they can't be interviewed without submitting all questions through the local 292 and their Bruh. accompanying attorneys first. Bruh. Okay. Let's do some digging. That's annoying as hell. guilty than the rest. We'll winnow it down and then deal with the local. Why else would you put me through all this? Ooh, phrasing it in the form of a question. That way it doesn't count as a guess. Very smart, doctor. <laughs> I'm gonna walk you through a scenario in your face. You're gonna tell me how close I am. When you learned I was going to Mexico, you took it. You and Lindsay framed me for murder, so I would be put in prison and treated like a criminal, and then you kidnapped my mother, so I would know how it feels to have a parent manipulated. Because you want to prove that you and I are the same. Am I right? <laughs> Why don't you think about all the pain you've suffered in your life? What would I capitalize on, you think? Is it the death of your mentor, SSA Jason Gideon? Don't say his name. Oh my what about God. Agent Morgan? Don't say his name. And your guilt over not visiting his little boy. I was in prison. Yeah. Or him not visiting you. Uh, why didn't you go? Truthfully, I got distracted. I was trying to figure out a way to help my mom. She didn't have time. Morgan, Savannah, and little Bobby did. So it's absolutely no shame. Ain't no way this is actually yeah, happening. Yeah, Morgan would understand. I agree. Go ahead, JJ. So Kat has deep background on Spence. She knew about Gideon's death and Morgan leaving the team for his family. She's throwing him off balance. Yeah, but Spence also purposely gave the wrong name of Morgan's son. But she didn't. She must have gotten her hands on Reed's confidential FBI file. It would mention relevant team information, but wouldn't name Morgan's baby because of confidentiality reasons. We were thinking All she's right. been getting help from someone inside the prison. This goes deeper than that. She's got someone inside the FBI? Huh. Or the fact that she used multiple identities when she was buying ammunition for it. Second, that's the amendment that guarantees my customers' right to bear arms. Fifth, that's the amendment where my customer's right to privacy is established. Griswold v. Connecticut, I believe. Her. Jesus wept. That's one hell of a story. <laughs> it's not wrong. Tell us another one. <laughs> the reason why that little miss has multiple IDs is because she's been harassed by bigots her entire life. What? Now her and her fiancé found love. Her fiancé? She was engaged? And just as I don't judge race, I don't judge folks by who they love, either. I get the hell out of my store. Because unless there's a Supreme Court case I haven't heard of, Obergefell v. Hodges is still a law of the land. Working deductively the secret wouldn't be any of the topics you've already volunteered because you wouldn't want to make it that easy on me. Genius. <laughs> so what is left that I wouldn't want to admit? No. For you. You want me to admit that I am actually in love with you. Don't get me wrong. I love my fairy tales, clearly, as much as the next girl, but I'm not delusional. So sure, in fact, that I had Lindsay leave a clue for you in your little scrapbook in your house. That, yeah, X, 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 Y. I couldn't have you come all the way down here and make a guess until I was positive. Until I tested positive. You're pregnant? You're not pregnant? How? I mean, I know how. I don't mean, like, every time I say how with that, everyone's like, you don't know how? Oh, yes. 
Are we sure she's pregnant? Here you are, ma'am. Thank you. It's not possible. Like, even if you are pregnant, the baby's not mine. I have Lindsay dose you in Mexico. You lost time. And I give her very specific instructions to get you in the mood. What, did she pretend to be you? Why would that have worked? <laughs> no. Yeah, no, I know. You're lying. Spencer, it's Maeve. It's okay. Spencer, 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 it's Maeve. It's okay. Didn't happen. Hey, I was thinking, if it's a boy, we should definitely call him Spency Jr. <laughs> if it's a girl, I think we should call her Maeve. I mean, after all, she played such a huge role in her own conception. She's three months. The timeline matches, but that doesn't necessarily matter. Sorry, it's not me. Nice to meet you, man. The Supreme Court decision that legalized gay marriage. You said we were missing something in the relationship between these two women. What if it's this? They have a relationship. The bond she has with Kat, it's not professional. No future with Kat. And she's going to take Reed's mother with her. And that's the ultimate act of revenge against the guy who took her lover away. JJ, what do you have? You take me off speaker. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? Well, here's where it gets tricky. Do we believe her or not? On the one hand, getting pregnant is a power control move straight out of the female psychopath handbook. On the other hand, if her story is true, it meant she sent her lesbian lover down to Mexico to get read to... Oh, yeah. Either way, she is pregnant. How you doing? Good looking. Come on, now it doesn't cost anything for a smile. She's here. I mean, she's blonde, but I think I heard noises coming from her trunk. Yeah, it was. Too easy. Believe me, getting pregnant with your baby was not easy. You misunderstand. It's too easy emotionally. There's no way it's his. It being his would be insane. I would care for better than you. That's right. It's true. That's also. I'm not trying to insult you. It's your psychological makeup. You literally something really bad that not have they the did to him. skills to care for another human being. You lose interest in your own baby the way a six-year-old loses interest in a pet hamster. That's the pedal baby. Dead. She was dead before I walked in here. She's not dead. Yes, she is. No, because that would be cheating, and I don't cheat. You cheat. I'm done playing. Get back here. Goodbye, Kat. I'm letting you talk to her. <laughs> You're so good. Yes, I'm here. Garcia, I'll get ready to trace the call. Spencer's fault. You're early. Yeah, I know. Did he guess? No, not yet. We need proof of life. All right. Spencer! Mom, Mom, are you okay? I don't... Oh. the game and she thinks that i cheated last time because i lied about her dad so it's integral to her that she beats me by following the rules yeah but since she controls the rules and she will change them to ensure that she wins which means that i'm locked in like she is she needs me locked in playing by her rules a game i can't win so sure 
watching us to hear what I'm going to say next. Uh, you guys got this up? Streaming now. Okay, uh, listen, you're, you're going to hear a lot of weird stuff, like Spence saying he is the father of Kat's baby. Don't let that distract you. Uh, I'm sorry, full stop. Why would we say he's the father? Quiet. <laughs> the inside man that's been helping him. He didn't just work at Kat's prison. He worked at hers and Reed's. Garcia, look for any overload. I'm compiling now. The only one that makes sense is that guy that, Here's yeah, something. that's one of the Wilkins. He works the at Mount Pleasant and the Milburn Correctional Facility. If, I, this guy if I had to bet on somebody, he's the there's only no one. way you could have gotten this hand on Reed's file. Because I didn't feel bad. I felt scared. How much I enjoyed poisoning the other prisoners. I had a hundred ways of getting myself out of that situation. I picked the one that would cause the most pain. Goodbye. You might end up saving your mother's life after all. Okay, Lionel Wilkins' primary residence is in Falls Church. They also have a second address. Uh, it's a cabin off of the Rappahannock River. The cabin is in Lindsay's zone based on the gas station. Helos are on the roof warming up. Let's go. I'm done here, right? Now you are. Holy sh... How did you get four bricks of C4? They won't get there in time. They must be on their way, right? Your team is too good to wait around, but... You know me. I always have a contingency plan, so... First sat down, you said you were going to show me what kind of man I am. And you have. Every time I touch this, you're getting warmer. than being faithful to you. And if you do this, she wins. Don't let her win. I think you really liked hurting those men. And once you cross that line, you can't ever go back. Watch me. <laughs> oh. That was so good. Only got one mountain to climb. 
Biceps. I'm like <laughs> Reed made a list of people he was willing to see as visitors. You weren't on it. He was humiliated. And honestly, we were barely keeping it together. Garcia almost quit over it. Garcia texted me, said that Reed was out of prison and that he did want to see me. And he was staying in an FBI safe house where he was putting his mother up for the night. I didn't approve that. You don't call, you don't write. <laughs> Mm. Oh, it is so Did not good expect to see, to see him this. this soon. Look, I wish I could say I was just here to say hello, but um, we may have bigger problems. You see what I'm saying about that text? It does not sound like Garcia. You do know what it does sound like. It's scratch. Trash. Is it Scratch? Hey, baby girl. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's you. It's really you. Oh, you smell like... You smell like hope and happiness. It is really you. Yes, it's me. It's me. But listen, you gotta focus, okay? Oh, crap. <laughs> I know we're all tired, but we might have a new lead on Mr. Scratch. Oh, my God. Somebody did a bang-up job. Do you, do you see what I have to put up? Albeth, you'll always get a location with this one. You guys are all good to go. Obviously, Morgan can't come with us. He's a civilian now. I won't miss you out there. You... I'd be lying if I said I didn't miss it out there in the field with you guys. I think about it every day. <laughs> Baby girl, I made a promise to my son. Now, obviously, he's not old enough to understand it, but that's not the matter. My promise was that I would come home to him every night, and so far, I haven't broken it. How is Hank? He just started walking. <laughs> well, it's more like this little walk. <laughs> <laughs> but the kid is walking. You know, I had no idea that I could love this much. Okay, okay, I say something. Of all the heroes I have met, and I have met a lot of heroes, you, Derek, Chocolate Thunder Morgan, are the most heroic. Oh. I'm so proud of you. I love you always. I miss but this do you man. Think you can try. He seems like a pretty alright guy. I, I, it's complicated. I'll try. I make no promises. <laughs> Go save some lives, baby. Okay. <laughs> oh, I hate it when you go, but I love it when you walk away. Here's another one. <gasps> you got it? Uh-huh. I miss that interaction. <laughs> All right, Voltron, so This bye. can't be happening right now. The house itself could be a setup. More waste of our time so we can get away. Whatever it Brett, is. Yell's car could, could be a setup. Like, like <laughs> anything could be a setup. Shit! season like that yeah so I think I already sentenced Kat to death previously like a long time ago she wasn't obviously but like that doesn't change <laughs> this whole new stuff doesn't oh you know what maybe not 
uh, it doesn't really change anything. Um, obviously, she's pregnant, so, I mean, after she gives birth, then she can... Um, and the other girl, I think she's in prison at least 270 years, so at least there's probably a bunch of other charges you can throw on her, so that's about that. Um, it was great seeing Morgan. I love that guy. Um, I miss him. On to season 13. Whoa. Like the video, comment down below, subscribe if you have not already. See y'all next time.